Well, Scott Sager here, RTC TV4, and uh, no, I'm not in trouble. This gentleman to my right is actually here to help. Again, your name, sir? John Cook. John Cook. John is our DNR agent for Fulton County, Northern yes, Indiana. How's that work? Yeah, I'm uh, assigned to Fulton County. Here. Okay. Yep. Excellent. Well, good to meet you. And of course, you recognize this young lady over here, Shirley Needham, correct? Correct. Shirley, you're known as the bird lady in Fulton County, Indiana. Yeah, some people put crazy in front of that. So. <laughs> <laughs> I won't call you crazy, dear. I love what you're doing here. Um, we're out today in a beautiful uh, sunny day, thank goodness, here in uh, March, early March. And we're here today to release a hawk, and this is a very special hawk. So I'll turn it over to Shirley here for a minute. Tell us about this hawk. Well, this is an Arctic hawk, what's called a tundra hawk. And some years they're fairly common down here. Other years they're just an occasional visitor. Um, they're called a rough-legged hawk, and I'll, once I get the hawk out of the carrier, I'll show you why they're called a rough leg. Um, this one was hit uh, on the highway over by Mentone. I've had it since before Christmas, and I now am hoping that we're going to have a successful release because it needs to get back to the tundra. Uh, the tundra is the only place that these birds nest. And of course, uh, uh, everything is, is limited up there, so they build their nest on rocks and cliffs and sometimes even the ground. And because there's so much competition for sticks and brush, they will actually build their nest out of caribou bones, oh. which we don't see here in Fulton County. <laughs> <laughs> not, not too many caribou, right. caribou bones laying about. They're, um, uh, they'll start nesting just about as soon as this bird gets back. I'm almost a little behind schedule. And um, they, I, I see conflicting reports. Uh, they haven't done a lot of research on the rough leg. Uh, there's a raptor group out in Wyoming right now that's banding. They have permission to band rough legs. And they're going and put transmitters on them mm -hmm. and they're going to start tracking because we don't really know what these birds do all year long uh, when they do lay eggs um, i've seen statistics that say one to seven eggs i see others that say that the average is three to five um, they're on the eggs for about 30 days then after they hatch they take about another 45 before they fledge um, if it's a really good year for lemmings, which is their favorite food, uh, they, all of the babies will make it out of the nest. If it's not a good year, then because the eggs hatch in the sequence they're laid, you'll have some birds that are a great deal bigger than the others, and those then become lunch for the bigger ones. <laughs> it's called everybody out there is somebody else's lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Feels like corporate world sometimes yes, too, or right? Brothers and sisters, yes. Right. Well, uh, do you know all this about these birds, or is uh, she your resource she, she, as well? She is the resource, and yeah. she's a really good resource. Very for good us. resource. Uh, a lot of the guys come to Shirley have come to Shirley in the past, and um, world full of knowledge. Yeah. So absolutely, absolutely. So Shirley, um, in particular, you, any particular bird, I guess, is what I'm going to ask birds that you have rescued over the years? Is this your first of these? I have done, this is the first rough leg okay. that I have ever rescued. Wow. I rescue a lot of birds, and, but this is the first. And they don't come down to Fulton County area very often. Yeah, they do. Okay. It's just that the numbers, most people don't recognize them. They're one of what we call the, the kiting birds. They, they actually hover when they're hunting. Wow. Uh, they hover like a kite or like a helicopter. And when people see them, if they don't know how to recognize the coloration, they think what they're seeing is our northern harrier, uh -huh. or what we used to call a marsh hawk. Right. When actually what they may be seeing is a rough-legged. No kidding. So we, they're down here. It's so, just that most people don't know how to recognize now, them. Now, and they're down here particularly in the in winter? In the winter, yes. in the winter only. Okay. Uh, and they don't just go north to Canada, they go way north. <laughs> They're clear up at the very top of Get Canada. Some frequent, frequent flyer miles right. there. Well, very good. So we've chosen a sunny day. You've waited uh -huh. on the weather to, to be perfect for it. You've got the thermals and everything else going on in the world. She knows more about the weather on a daily basis than most meteorologists because <laughs> these birds do ride on the thermals and it's important right. sometimes, right? And I do try to have at least two to three nice days. Not, I mean, he's I think it's a she. She's been outside all winter long, so obviously she's used to rain and snow and she loves cold. But um, it's it's harder for them to hunt when yeah. there's bad weather. If you've got high winds, if you've got rain. And of course, there aren't very many lemmings in Fulton County, so they have to be hunting something that they aren't really uh, used to. Excellent. Rodents. Right. Ground squirrels. Right. 
Unless we increase the lemming population, which I don't think we probably want to do here, do we? Yeah, that's I keep, yeah. My, yeah. keep mice and rats in my freezer, but not lemmings. Well, we want to thank you for all that you do. Um, of course, this is Shirley's show with the hawk and everything, oh, yeah. but we're glad you stopped by. Shirley's pointing at hawks. If you spend more than five minutes with Shirley, she will stop the conversation and point at a hawk. Now, what is that from identity? I don't know. What is it, John? Is it a red tail? I've got the sun in my eyes. Uh. I can't tell. It's a beautiful yeah. hawk. It's a hawk. It's a hawk. <laughs> it's a red tail. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Kept coming back to say hello. I'd rather it would go away. <laughs> <laughs> right. For I'm the sure. moment, at least. I don't I'm need sure. any competition for my hawk. The problem with when you do rehabilitation, of course, is you've, you've got them in a cage. And he's in a, the bird has been in a 30 foot cage, but mm -hmm. they still lose muscle tone. Okay. So I, I try to warn people that sometimes when we release these birds, it's not always successful gotcha. because they've lost their muscle strength. Then we have to take them back in, mm -hmm. and then we have to do what's called creance flying. We put them on a 300-yard cord, gotcha. and we let them work up their muscle strength. Oh I'm hoping that this one doesn't do that to me. Well, we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll see. see. Yeah, we'll see her in a few moments, and uh, we'll zoom in on the, on the hawk a little bit and let Shirley do her work. This won't be the last time we're with Shirley. We're uh, going to set it up uh, and be with you and show you a lot of these releases. Remember, it's very important to take care of uh, the animals that can't take care of themselves. And so people like Shirley keep that going. So I'll turn it over to Shirley. glasses on. Uh -huh. wow. Okay, now if you want to zoom in on the legs, yeah, you'll see why me. they're called rough legged. Most hawks have bare legs. Whoops. Come on. Come on, kid. This one has feathers all the way down to the toes. And that's because the assumption is they have to keep their toes warm when they're on the tundra. I see. Oh, just beautiful. Yeah, they're, they've, this particular bird just has the most beautiful coloration. Uh, it is a juvenile, and I haven't been able to tell whether it's a male or a female, but I can tell it's a juvenile because see how light the eyes are? Uh -huh. The older they are, the darker their eyes get. Okay. So now, because they're a ground bird, he may very possibly, she, who knows, mm -hmm. may very possibly go down to the ground. Okay. Then I'll have to make a decision whether it's going to stay there or whether it's going to fly. So I'm going to walk out here so that everybody is behind me. Here we go. 